When the villagers come to my door, I will hide underneath the table in the dining room, knees drawn up to my chest. When the villagers come to my door, I will breathe shallow breaths from high up in my stomach. I'll, 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 one from in there. Where's your pink one at? In my car somewhere. Buried and stuff that I didn't feel like digging through. <laughs> oh hey. Okay, you know when you order your burger they say, would you like fries with that? That's an offer, right? They don't say, buy fries. They say, would you like fries with that? So that's what I'm doing with the cookies. I've got offering the horses an opportunity to something different. Okay? So it's not... Oh. A, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> already grooving. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, give him a long rein. And you never know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> like, like, this he's like, I'm going to ignore you. Okay, fine. Ignore me. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Okay. So it doesn't matter. What they do doesn't matter. So just notice his eyes are already shutting. His expression has changed. He's got this quizzical look on his face, like, what the heck is this? You know, this one's like already going, wow, right? Feeling he's already rocking and yeah. rolling. Isn't that the weirdest thing? Like, swaying is like super common. Yeah. Okay, that one's still ignoring us. Right? <laughs> Bye, all man. Just like a bunch of kids at school, right? All right, everybody go for a walk and notice, because you've already been walking before I got here, and just notice if there's anything different. So you're going to give your horses a long rein. You're going to let them do whatever they want to do within reason.
you're going to find really fast is the horses are going to drag you to me because they like it. <laughs> okay. Mark, don't eat her. So, I offer, yeah, now that one, let him back up. It's okay, let him look in the longer rein. He wants to put his nose on it. It's like, what the heck is, I was ignoring that before. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. And, <laughs> right? But his expression, lick and chew, eyes are softer. That's weird. <laughs> We'll do it again. And if they step off, no big deal. If they want to go for a walk, that's fine. Okay? Yeah, he wants to go for a walk. Let him go. Oh, he changed his mind. Let him go. If they want to walk, let him walk. Do not stop them. Okay? This is an offer, right? Would you like to stand on this cushion? Yes or no? No? Go for a walk. Yes? Hang out for a minute. Bye. This one's still doing that. I'm not paying attention to things. Okay? This one's what put your reins forward. Licking and chewing, drop the neck. Oh, and notice what's different. Where'd your horse's head go? Straight down. And so if the head goes down, where's the back gonna go? Up. Up. So notice we got a neck down over there, we got a neck down over there, we got a neck down over there. Let's pull their way through this because this one suddenly is going a million miles an hour, right? <laughs> yeah. How the heck did we do that? I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> Good boy. Come on over here. So we can see this guy particularly. Everybody take your shoulders and shrug them. And now drop your chest forward and down. So drop your lips. That's what he does. All right? Feel what muscles you have to hold to do that. And how much work that is. Now if you let that go, where are you going to let go? <laughs> shoulders versus neck, right? And he's really interesting because when you went out and moved him, it was so obvious yeah. that he was like and then he went, eh, you know what? That doesn't feel good. Ugh. And then I clip. It's a familiar <laughs> place. So we went back and forth. So I'm going to offer him two cushions. And he's barefoot. So some people say it doesn't matter. Obviously, no. Right? Now, look at his face. Because <laughs> his ears just went, eh, right? He's like, you guys see what she's doing to me? Yeah. And he's going to, oh, there. What did he just do? He just he, he rocked. Did everybody see that? He rocked. And if you watch, what's your name? Casey. Watch Casey. And you're going to see Casey doing this. Right? <laughs> That's the horse. So here he's not sure. He's like, let him look. He's going forward. He's like, what are these things? This is so weird, he says. <laughs> and look where his neck is now. He just let his neck down completely, right? Now, he's not allowed to lie down. I had it happen, so I'm just warning you. Okay? And oddly enough, he wants to put himself back on the cushions, right? <laughs> so we'll offer it to him again. By the way, look at where his neck is. He's just not allowed to lay down. <laughs> Hi. So I always represent the cushions to them because as you can see this horse, he's like, what the heck is this? Suddenly, you know, he's like not paying attention and now he's like, what? What is this? So I always like to give him a chance to, to check it out again. You see how soft his eye is? He's like going, well, yeah, that's kind of cool. And he wants to make his leg kind of stiff. So I do my best to guide the foot to the cushion, but not force. I'm going to see if I can help him load onto it. Very good. He wanted to toe load it first instead of load through the column of his leg. So we had to figure out how to load through his leg. And I just wait, right? He's like, what the heck is this? Let him, let him look. There we go. And he had to figure out how to load through his leg. Now, what is really obvious? You can see it best. What's really obvious? At first, he was kind of like leaning and then like... Which settled. foot is he loading more? Correct. He's standing much heavier on his right foot, so he's doing something like this. Yeah. Now, if we look at his sternal line, it gives us a clue about his rib cage. That's pretty straight. So we can see that his rib cage is basically upright, but he's now he just shifted. Now he's yeah. loading left, right? So we'll wait because he loaded more left, moved his head, weight shifted a little right, 
shifted to the right. As he shifts right, look what happens to his pec line. Changes. Right? So do you guys know anything about the front end of the horse, like structurally? Somewhat. What do you know? Do you mean like, like the muscles? Like, well, like, what do you, uh, is the front leg attached by bone to the rest of the body? Yes or no? No. It's no. It's a joint. Because it, horses do not have what? The collarbone. collarbone. So there is no bony attachment of the front leg to the rest of the body. There is only muscle, fascia, tendon attachment. Okay. Which means that the front leg and the rib cage, the two front legs, act like the pillars with the hammock swung in the middle, the rib cage. <laughs> I don't know about two. That was kind of like, can you figure it out? Oh, okay. Oh, good boy. Now this horse, look at him sway. And actually what's really interesting is you look at how narrow his chest is, yeah. given how wide this horse is, but how narrow his chest is, right? Yep. So putting two cushions, and I'm not sure we're going to get two. He's not, okay, go for a walk. Okay. Like two is a lot for this horse to figure out. So we let him go for a walk. Okay, different surface, different texture, shifts out of the way. So we're just going to offer you some other ideas. Now I wait because they have to offload that leg and figure out how to distribute their weight in order for me to pick up the foot. I'm not going to argue. And she's like, no, 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 that's all right, go for a walk. So it's different, right? Yeah. And as much... <laughs> Take them with you. <laughs> doesn't seem like there's much coming up into their foot. It's enough for that horse to say that's just nice. We are going to double up. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> the low is not front, right? And we've, we've basically shoved his whole front leg up in relation to his rear feet. He went to find it. Okay. <laughs> and he, got, he has two choices. When I put pads <laughs> under their front feet, they can either do this. Yes, Wendy. Yeah, front your horse wants to get on him. I know. That one's tricky. They can either do this, they can move the shoulder relative to the ribs, or they can do this, and they rotate their rib cage because the shoulder doesn't move, right? And he, he's trying to figure it out. We can see his sternal line is angled, which means that we've raised everything and shoved it over, we can tell because we shoved you over, right? Everything <laughs> leans. But Big he's size. breathing deeply, and you can see that this sternal line keeps changing. Sometimes more angled, sometimes a little less angled. So he's starting to let his shoulder glide over his ribs, separate from his ribs, right? Because you can see, actually, he's getting more and more square, isn't he? He started out really crooked. Oh, go ahead. Not very nice. Amazing. He feels so different. Like he actually doesn't feel like he's trying to run away. And he's actually turning. He's not bracing his neck. 